All right, what's up, you fellow Pumpkin Hill lovers? We're back with more Nep Nep on Ice. And we gotta get the path to Celestia, and I gotta charge my phone, I gotta turn down my volume so my audio doesn't echo. All of the recipes to a good Neptuna episode. And it looks like, um... Looks like Brave's eating shit again. Come on, Brave, you gotta calm down, brother. You gotta calm down, brother. It's Neptunia, you gotta calm down, brother. Alright, anyways. Let me actually full screen the game. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Not gonna end the day on a sour note, no. Hey, we played tr we played trash earlier, and that kind of went nah. It was okay, it was fun, but it kind of ended badly. So uh, I may have uh, grinded a bit. Uh, yeah, I have a very funny screenshot to show you guys. So give me a sec. Let me let me find that. Uh, uh crap. I, pu I put it in the Neptunia folder, then I shit. Give me a second. I think it's this. So, I fought this dude in a dungeon. Look how much experience he gave me for killing him. He gave me two million experience. Two million. That's a lot. And... As you can see, Gus got like nine levels. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Am I still available in the morning? Yes, I am free tomorrow morning. I am gonna go shopping, but you know what? You'll probably be sleeping still, so I, f I think that's a good chance to go out and go do my shopping and just get that done with. So, yeah. Use. Oh yeah, another funny thing. I found a, a fellow ETA enjoyer in the Mario Party Netplay server, which is pretty dope. <laughs> but this week, yeah, we will do Radiant Dawn. Anyways, let me also show off my um, items. Uh, so as you can see, I have no money, I have maxed out my reflexes, and I have over 300 of every item. Which means, um, items aren't really gonna be too much of an issue for a few dungeons. I want to try and max out all of them by the end of the game. That seems kind of like a little completion thing if you ask me. Oh yeah, and also Iffy is um, on the sidelines for now. Because uh, Iffy is... Well, she was my highest level partner. But Neptune hasn't gotten a lot of levels, and now, ironically, Neptune is now my lowest level partner. So, I'm letting I'm letting Iffy stand off for a little while. And honestly, it might be time... It might be time to let Red and 5PB shine, to be honest. Well, that's what I would say, but I still need to buy them weapons. <laughs> Another day with Slow Kaya. I need to buy them better weapons. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to do this dungeon in Planiptune. And we're going to see if we can get, um... We're going to see if we can get new weapons for 5 PB and red. And then we can try and use them on our party. So, yeah. That's going to be the play for today, anyway. We're going to at least get a few dungeons completed. And the, guy, the guys in here aren't too bad. I grinded them a little bit. For the world and its people, Nisa appears! Well, and also, I have Neptune out again, which means, uh, I can just, I can just do this. Oh, I did the wrong thing. I can do Neptune break, basically, is what I was trying to do, but I targeted the wrong asshole. Just... Yeah, these guys are... These guys are very easy now. And also, Nisa and Gust have a crap ton of AP now, so they can act a lot more often. Which makes, um... 
Next dungeon traversal, just that much easier. I, like, super strong? I'm gonna be surprised with the new recruit. Okay, if you say so. Oh yeah, and you can't get reflexes anymore. It just says like, eh. No more. No more for you. No soup for you. My turn to do something? Oh yeah, there's no treasure in here, that's right. Actually, this dungeon isn't that big. Never mind, it's pretty big. We're like half done, and I'm gonna assume there's a boss at the end of this. Nepu Nepu gameplay. My... Never mind. Anyways, here's Neptune being overpowered. <laughs> she can just do that. I mean that that still kind of hurts though. I wasn't very happy with how Trash ended today, so we might do Trash again next week, next Sunday morning. And by Sunday morning, I mean, like, Sunday at whatever time the hell Jose wakes up. And we'll run- we'll run it back. <laughs> I'll just have the game booted up and ready to go when we play. So, the dungeon that I got that 2 million experience point guy in was, like, Planet Tune Tower 4 or something. With slightly less mods. Uh, no. I'm probably gonna keep the all the mods on. This world <laughs> will never lose. You, yes, you have a good point. Having less mods makes it boot faster, but it doesn't make it boot instantly. Maybe it boots, like, a couple minutes faster. It's not really much of a difference. <laughs> I don't think I'll be gonna do I'll do it. I'll boot up the game. Like, I'll just boot it up, and if it crashes, then we just do the same thing. We play Trash Universe for a little bit, and then we play, uh, Trash again when it boots up again. Which is, it's not a bad idea. I hope lots of money drops. <laughs> hey man, I would love if Trash booted instantly. This is exactly why I want an SSD. The SSD will hold it boot twice as fast, at the very least. We got him good. At least I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I'm pretty sure it's based on your hard drive. So is this where the boss is, or is this a treasure? I think this is the boss. Oh, and 127 times, I Damn. think. How did you learn I hold the ancient hero's secret weapon? <laughs> Why does this monster have a regular guy's voice? <laughs> Get an SSD. <laughs> and you don't have Ethernet. Jose doesn't have Ethernet. Yeah, that also sucks. Um, well, we haven't even said anything yet. So does that mean... Shut up! I'm gonna collect the other parts of this here Trinity Blade. I'll show no mercy for any interference, no matter what. Are we just gonna fight? I'll never give up, no matter how strong our opponents are. Ancient dragon. This is most. This is like as stereotypical JRPG as it gets. That wasn't that bad. Was that your idea of an attack? Does Gust still have um? The healing pod? Yes, yeah, she does. Um... Yeah, she's she's at half health, I can tell. We get to hear Splash again. Entering ma A heroine's turn never Burr. ends! Alright, well, dragons are usually weak to ice, so... Let's do that. <laughs> I'm going all out. It really makes me curious how Mark II is going to control. He used the Scarlet Red Mist. <laughs> You're trying to connect your internet better. I'm never Fair enough. Whoop. Healed up. All right, we got another net net break.
Oh, oops. Okay. Uh oh. Ouch! This guy isn't doing that much. He's surprisingly weak for what's supposed to be a boss of like, I'll finish you, you know, off. a protector boss. Entering max power mode. Playing this game, there's gonna be something that just like completely catches me off guard and messes everything up. That that kind of happens sometimes. A perfect combo. All right, punch him. Do. Get away. <laughs> the punch is so cute. I love it. He just goes boop, and then he takes damage. <laughs> well, you work with what you can. Oh, this is one of those weird turn orders, where eventually the enemy gets like two turns. Entering. Entering max power mode. Yeah, more guard breaks. See, I think this is the only Neptune game where guard breaks are genuinely like exciting and hype. <laughs> in any in any other game, they're just like, eh, whatever. It's a guard break. Who cares? <laughs> but in this game, it's like it like it actually it's actually a big deal. Okay, Gus, you're not doing too good. Now's the chance to heal. Yeah, you really needed that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, because we're about to get a really weird, weird turn or turn order where the, he moves, Neptune gets a turn, and then he moves again. It's I hate that. It's really weird. <laughs> Well, I'll tough it out. We're Entry almost done. Power mode. We're almost done this fight. That's just honestly my biggest problem with this I game is that the enemies and bosses just feel like damage sponges. I'm never this generous. Oh, slap. <laughs> 800 damage. Ouch. Another 800 damage. It's like nothing. And we got another guard break. Alright, just gonna defend after that. 500. <laughs> Bro can't do anything to me. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you good? You had your turn? <laughs> Like, it really, it really hangs on that. It's like, oh, yeah, hold on, the enemy's turn's finished. You <laughs> Yuka gameplay. <laughs> You're gonna download another Toho game. Oh, Toho 9. Wait, I re why did I read that as Toho 8? <laughs> Yuka hasn't showed up since Toho 5. I think she was in Toho 4 as well. Could be wrong, though. I don't know my PC-98 Toho's very well. Yeah, bro, bro, bro's about to die next turn, I think. Thirty-two thousand damage. Root roar. I love how he roars at me, and he does damage. Entry. Yeah, he's dead because he, we get um, we get to attack twice with Gust and Nisa. All right, Gust, finish it off. I learned from a fairy. Bang, bang, bang. I'm going all out. Boom. That still didn't kill. Okay. There. Perfect. I'm never this generous. All right, that, that's it. That's the dragon. The shadow dragon is dead. That was good exercise. <laughs> Three hundred thousand experience. I don't know when I'll do PC ninety eight Toho. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna go through every Toho game at some point, level right? Up. Ooh, I'm gonna level up. Red and five PB have nothing to say for leveling up. Oh, 128 times. He wasn't tough at all.
I can't believe how aggressive he was. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't very tough. Damn. I can't believe I lost to these little girls. So you've got uh. one of the ancient hero's weapons. You do, right? Bro, bro, bro right? really, bro, really sounds like a thwomp. Just a part of it. I will admit my defeat and give it to you. I'm gonna give me some. There we go. I found it. Obtain trendy blade grip. Oh yay! Huh? This is kind of big. Is this just the grip to a sword? It's part of the Trinity Blade, a giant sword created by the hero Yuzosuke. The 3D shock waves emitted from the Trinity Blade are said to pierce through the heavens. We must have had great technology back then. Does this mean and all technology now is shit? The the emphasis he <laughs> put the emphasis on damn. <laughs> Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? I heard someone seen part of the sword near Planetune Sky Harbor. Planetune Sky Harbor. I'll play PC ninety eight the same way I play Shadow Dragon. <laughs> Seems like it. This is becoming way more of a chore than I expected. I'm sure it'll get easier once Isti gets her crap together. <laughs> to gets her crap together. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I had some sausage rolls today. And believe this, I have not had sausage rolls in like 15 years, I want to say. They're pretty damn good. They're just as good as I remember them. And I don't know, maybe this is weird, but I always, I always eat sausage rolls with mustard and ketchup. It's kind of like, they're kind of like little mini hot dogs in a way. So that's why mustard and ketchup go really well with them. Uh, I guess you should try it if you haven't before. It's pretty good. How much moon need do we have now? 22,000. This sounds this is like your average. I think the weapons, though, cost a lot more than that. Yeah, it's 56,000 for a weapon. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, honestly, it might just be better to get the 31,000. At least for 5 PB. Because the physical isn't really going to help her out, but... And, for, and in Red's case, I think the Shining Toy is just good enough that it's worth getting. I don't know if there's anything better than the Vintage Bracelet. Oh, there's Silver Armlet. Silver Armlet seems to be slightly better than the Vintage Bracelet Magic Defense-wise. Oh yeah, by the way, I did get the um, coral beads back and uh, everything else for Neptune. Hair clips? Wait, Neptune has uh, new equipment? I want to see what the I want to see the black D clips. Oh, she's also got the monochrome dress. That edgy thing. Um. What else can I buy? Lolita Ribbon? Oh, I want to see the black D-clips. Ooh, yeah, those look good. I don't know why, but Neptune with black D-clips always looks so cool. Chili and cheese. I would if I had that. I can't just make chili dogs out of thin air. Chili dogs. We are now done 67% of the events. <laughs> There, so there, there are more dungeons than there are events, I think. Anyways, let me show off that, that dungeon that I did my grinding in. It was this dungeon. This dungeon, I did my grinding in. And the reason for that is... Um, there's, a, there's a guy, one of those Cleon guys you fight. And if you kill him, you get 2 million experience for it. The problem is, it takes 15 minutes to kill him. I, do this alone. <laughs> I could buy a can of chili. Otherwise, you're you're better off just fighting the um the robots in here. The robots also give decent experience and and money. Our party rules. Okay, not really. 1800 isn't much. Oh yeah, and I can actually use these reflexes now because I ran out. So those guys aren't really worth fighting, but the, the the guy in there and the boss are worth fighting. It's just the boss is kind of annoying. He does a lot of damage, and you have to get really lucky to beat him. 
Sky Harbor and Hero. The team stands absentmindedly at the Sky Harbor, the edge of a landmass. There seems to be nothing like what the party is looking for. Alright, well, let's, let's go there. So, where should we look exactly? We're at the end of the landmass, right? Nothing's gonna be here but the Basilicom. Excuse me, ladies. Have you applied for a permit? No worries, man. We already got one a while back. We're just here to look for something. Oh? What could you be looking for? The tri... trip to... Something related to the ancient heroes. <laughs> Do you know anything about it? Classic compa doesn't know how to pronounce anything. Let's go. You finished the key fragments. Yeah, I did. Like a feat, like last episode, I think. Are you talking about the Trinity Blade of the hero Yuzusuki? I think I may have an idea. We also freed Esti, which is top tier. We've dug up something we have yet to identify, but it caught our attention while fixing this harbor. This is it. What's this? An ancient coin? A palm top sword? You mocking us, dude. No, look closely. Isn't this a sword's cross guard? The material is very similar to that other part. As I suspected, I stowed it away just in case it was something important. Can we have it? Huh? Can we? We need it to save the world. Don't worry, Ify will pay you for it. <laughs> No way! I manage all the credits, so my money is your money too, you know. No, please do not mind me. We have no need for it. Take it if you can put it to use. This is actually kind of cool. We're putting a sword back together. Obtain Trinity Blade Cross Guard. Great! Now we have two pieces. We're still missing the blade, though. We have to keep looking for it until Isti can give us any sort of lead. The hero Yuzusuki was said to have vanished from the public eye after defeating the goddess. If anything, the Trinity Blade must be where Yuzusuki spent his final years. So, like a cave or dungeon, huh? Wow, go figure. Yeah, we freed Isti last episode. It was pretty great. Hero's Grave, at the underground cave where Yuzuzuki spent his last years, an old man awaits Neptune and her friends. Oh, is it gonna be my favorite old man? The, the old man voice that they reuse every time? He's like, you damn kids and you're fucking... You know, I'm a heretic. And 129 times. What's with the ruckus? Yeah, I fucking do it. I haven't it. seen any tourists since the monsters began to appear. Welcome. This is where Yuzuzuki passed. The first 100 visitors will win the talking Yuzuzuki cell phone strap. Yeah, they got the they got the same person's grandpa to record all of the elder dialogue. Using a hero to make money? People like you are around in any age. <laughs> this is where the hero took his final breaths? Yes. So Yuzuzuki died here. There was once a grave, but it got buried due to an earthquake. The only thing that survived the quake was Sir Yuzusuki's beloved Trinity Blade. Wow, it's like the Game Boy that survived the bombing. Your voice literally sounds like Mario's grandpa. Great, I'll take it as a compliment. These are parts of it too, right? Oh, the cross guard and grip. You found them. We're trying to gather parts of this sword to defeat an evil goddess. Do you know anything about that? Well, you should keep this blade, then. This is all I know, and all I have. I'm getting too old for this shit. Trinity Blade. Sweet. Do you have all the bits and pieces now? Nope. You need one more to complete the sword. The pommel. The what now? Oh, who cares about a part that sounds like a cheerleader's dessert? We do. Old man. Do you know where it might be? <laughs> Old man. Uh, nope. It's probably somewhere on Planetune, if that helps. Ah, uh, uh, you don't say. Sounds like we gotta look around like little detectives some more. Yes. It's not easy finding these things. I wanna sleep in my own bed for once. Aw, oh, poor Kampa. <laughs> Reputable elder. Despite Aya's frustration, Kampa moves to beat out of her- beat of- 
He moves to the beat of her drone drum. Thankfully, that leads the team right to the final piece of the weapon. What is it under her bed or something? How funny would that be? Yun Yun Mao Square? <laughs> is that what that said? Oh, what should we do now? We've looked in so many sketchy places and haven't found a single clue. Oh well, we'll have to just wait until Isti gets back to us. Where's Kampa? She went to go get her body pillow from her house. Hey yo. Maybe she'll be back soon. See? Hey yo, Kampa, what you doing? Oh, 129. Sorry for the wait. Aside from my pillow, I packed up my toothbrush, my pajamas, and some other stuff. We're going straight to Celestia after we find all the weapons. Regrets will not mend matters. I must start thinking ahead. I'm not sure that's quite the right phrase <laughs> for this situation, but I'll praise your effort. Ooh, what's that thingy, Kampa? It's super cute. Really? My grandpa gave it to me. I've had it for so long. <laughs> Body pillow. Yeah, what you, what the Kampa doing? I found it while organizing my drawers. Grandpa, I'm doing well. You don't have to worry, so please... Stop groping your caretaker's bottom. <laughs> the neighbors are talking about it. The fuck is he on about? I can picture your grandpa in my head. I figured he was more serious and full of wisdom based on what I heard from you. Huh? Kampa, let me see that real quick. My grandpa's keepsake? Sure, but why? We obtained the Trinity Blade Pommel. <laughs> keepsake? Your grandpa's still alive. Anyway, look! This is the Trinity Blade's pommel. Wow, what a fucking coincidence. <clears throat> Check DM. Oh, you got some sauce for me? Okay, I approve of that. Holy shit! Well, that is a wild thing. Here's something else that's wild. We got a sexy bird lady. Holy shit! Holy shit! Yep, that is pretty wild. What? This? My grandpa said he found it in his backyard one day. Connect this to the end of the grip, slide on the cross guard, and then fit the blade into the grip. Perfect. Holy crap a -roni. <laughs> <You> really did <laughs> it! <laughs> crap a -roni. No doubt about it. This is the hero Yuzasuki's Trinity Blade. That's awesome. Obtain Trinity Blade of Yusuki. You cannot equip this weapon. Thanks for letting me know, because I was going to try that. <laughs> well, we got, we got one of the four weapons. Now we got to go to um, Last Station next. At least that's what it says. Alright, let's go to Last Station then. I'm gonna need that. It's her friend. Okay. I was say, you know what to do. <laughs> you usually say hot damn. All right. Let's let's take the teleportation. Uh, keep forgetting we've already been here. Even though it's not a very long dungeon, it's still annoying. Let's get him in a single turn. Well, Jose, you're the one with the sauce. Send it to Elijah. He needs it. <laughs> hmm. Again, I'm slicing junk. I'm slicing junk. I don't know why I like that line. It's it's it doesn't seem like something Neptune would say. <laughs> Seems too mellow sounding. <laughs> I'ma send it to Luke. Oh. Can't I'm lazy? Well, I'm 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 also lazy. I'm doing a stream. Fine, I'll send it after then. Not that. Alright, the storage operation system. The party finds a strange industrial crane powered by mysterious mechanics in a game company storage. This looks like some sort of storage alley. I wanna check it out? 
I do. Me first. Away. You're way too curious. Oh, 130 times. Ooh, fun times! This place is pretty big! Do you think they could use that crane hang from the ceiling to move stuff? Yes, those arms will pinch the crates and move them. I wonder where they operate the crane from. Over there, on the other side of that window. See the operators all lined up? Yeah, I wonder what it's like to operate a giant crane. I want to do it so bad! Don't even think about it. You'll just get us all kicked out of here. Huh. What? Oh, on the 31. I only see two buttons by the operator's hands. No way. Oh, you're right. One must move it left and right while the other moves it up and down. Everything else seems automated. Wow, it's like the crane game in TTYD. And you have plans for August, apparently. The crane and its functions. Does it remind you of something? Don't say it. Arcade crane games. <sighs> I love I love these little gag cutscenes. Man, last station is just dropping a shit ton of frames. What the hell's going on? What's my frame rate for this place? It's dropping to 26 frames. God damn. Last station, what happened to you, bro? Hmm. Not really worth, uh... Not really worth buying anything from here. Eh, fuck it, I'll buy one of each. Alright, let's go to Challenge Cave. Challenge Pissing. According to Isti, we've got to look in a field on last station. That's pretty vague for a clue. Let's just start doing some legwork. Alright. I guess we'll see if we can get last station done today, too. I mean, we got Planet Tune done in, like, what, half an hour? You're gonna finish Xenosaga, blah, 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 yaps. <laughs> Alright. Is this a, does this place have a treasure? My turn to do something? Wait, so this place has a treasure? Huh? Why does this one have a treasure and the Planet Tune one doesn't? That's weird. Oh, I want that. I want that. Give me. Give me that. <laughs> Four. We won't lose. Oof. These guys look tough. Okay, these guys are actually these guys are actually a little strong. They don't just die in one hit. <laughs> At least I don't go play what you're doing, bro. <laughs> I'm just doing it for a bit. Yeah, give me all that shit. Yummy. Yummy, yummy medicine. I found treasure! Mental, I'm gonna run out of reflexes. You know what? Let's let's see the mon let's get, use our good old friend the monster call. Come out, Evo. <laughs> You're so cruel. You're so cruel. A perfect target. Not the bees. All right, Nep Nep, you know what to do. Z All right, Nep Nep, you know what to do. You found more sauce? Hell yeah, the sauce just keeps steamrolling today. Holy shit. Why is every time when I see Bird later, her booba gets bigger? <laughs> her booba just can't stop growing, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> Terrain worm. Hey, by the way, did you guys watch F? Did you guys watch F three yesterday? I don't know if you did. You probably didn't. 
But basically, F3 is this thing hosted by Kaze and Manuar. Y'all are horny. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, F3 is hosted by Kaze and Manuar. He made a bunch of Mario 64 hacks, if you didn't know. And... Every year now, he started hosting F3, which basically is a like a 50-minute long presentation where he showcases a crap ton of uh, fan games that are coming out. Any kind of sauce can make us stop complaining. The fuck is double the size for a head? Let's see what we find. I know, crazy, right? And there were there were some good there were, there were some good things in that presentation. Uh, I mean, the thing I was mostly look the one thing I was mostly hyped about is um, JD Aster making like a sort of spiritual successor to the Infinite Pit, but instead of the Infinite Pit. It's kind of like Black Pit, except it takes place in um, Hooktail Castle. Wait, so now the treasure is over that way? Okay, that's weird. Let me save. So is there treasure in here? Is this the right way to go? I can't tell. Uh, um, there's nothing in here. My turn to do something? Wait, 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 there's a treasure down there. That was like the one thing I was excited for, is, um, that Black Pit, yeah. It's basically a roguelike. It's the Pit of 100 Trials, but it's a roguelike, and it's really fun. I mean, Infinite Pit's kind of roguelike-ish. Not as much, though. And I maxed out my reflexes, I think. What's next? Gag reflexes? Yeah, you guys are just, like, going crazy over Bird Lady today. Watch out. I mean, nothing wrong with that. I like me some Bird Lady. And hell, it makes me excited to play, uh, sub-training in Animism at some point. Yeah, I like Nuke Bird up. Yes, please keep giving me this loadout. Neptune is just gonna Come carry on, everything. Super strong. Look at that. Look at how much credits I'm getting. I'm gonna come out of this dungeon with like 80,000 credits or something, I swear. Yeah, my reflexes are full. Hmm. There were some other good things in that F3 Direct. Uh, one thing I really remember is someone's making, someone's still working on a sequel to Mario 63 called, I think, Mario 127. Item obtained. The thing that really stood out to me in that in that uh, trailer, though, is the fact that it has two-player split-screen, which is what I'm most excited about. Which means maybe I can force someone to play that with me. <laughs> Because that sounds like a fun time. That's mostly just what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, like, you know, good two to three, four player, like, multiplayer platforming action, you know? That's, like, some good shit. Okay, well, I take it that Zeppi doesn't want to play it. <laughs> he doesn't want to play Mario 127 130 times. What brings you ladies here? Come to take away my treasure? Treasure? You have one? It better not be like some pictures from a nudie website. <laughs> All right, that's going in my that's going in my screenshots. What sort of pervert do you take me for? I mean, it's not like it's a bad thing to enjoy or anything, but <laughs> Neptune really it doesn't sound like we're gonna get along. Sorry, ladies, but you're all gonna have to die. This is one of my treasures, a disc that summons monsters. Oh boy. That's one of our force discs. Oh no! I didn't think there were more! Please break it! Recycle it! Or something! Why? If I use it, a monster will come out and protect me, yeah? Idiot. You think this is some kind of genie lamp? <laughs> Stand back! <laughs> Idiot. They look mean! Another dragon! But this time, it's the Kaiser Dragon. Ooh, 
cool. He's so cool. You know what I forgot to do in the last boss fight? I forgot to transform. <laughs> Probably should have done that, huh? I'll finish you off. A perfect com Keep going. A perfect combo. Ouch! Oh wow, that was that was instantaneous. Bro, that did like nothing. Now how, hold on, how much damage did Gus take? She took like 200 damage. That's it. Hey, it worked. I love Bird Lady even more though. <laughs> All right, let's actually transform then. We haven't seen this in a while anyway, so. Yeah, let's watch it. No attacking while I transform. Set it up. Set it up. Set it up. Set it up. Me and my dumbass cardboard box waste things and my flaming my flaming wings. <laughs> All right, here we go. Unfortunately, now I can't do Neptune Break though. So, oh well, I maybe and I wouldn't have been able to. Let's keep doing Dual Edge. <laughs> there we go. A heroine's entering max power mode. In fact, this guy might even be even easier than the last one. A perfect combo. I'm never this generous. What? Wow, 200 damage. I'm so scared. Not bad. Oh no. <laughs> Get you from the front. Back down. Dang. All right, we gotta watch. We gotta watch Neptune break. Yes, I have. I have cardboard boxes. <laughs> it's like the lamest equipment for Neptune, but it gives her power, so <laughs> I have them. Now, I've got one last move to show off. Thirty six thousand damage. Forty four thousand, actually. All right, yeah, that's pretty powerful. <laughs> what didn't you say? A uh, here entering max power mode. Thanks for the guard break. I'm never. Oh, I can't do musical words. Slap them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Bing. Not yet. Oh no! I took damage. Okay, now he actually did something. He finally decides to do damage. <laughs> Crazy. And he's pretty much almost dead. <laughs> I think Nisa and Gus will be able to finish him off. Yeah. Entering max power mode. Gun. I'll get you. I never miss target. Boom. Mm -mm -mm -mm. These... I'm never this generous. Boom. 
Alright, let's do the deluxe combo to finish him off. This is your punishment. There we go. All good. <laughs> He's dead. This lies in everyone's heart. It's like free experience right there. Dude, I got more experience I got more money from those battle random encounters that I did than from the boss. <laughs> Why don't you shave your hair, grow a beard, and wear a bandana? <sighs> Level up. I'm getting stronger and st Amusement dance. Apparently we have enough money to buy something for red. 131 times. I can't believe you've got the strength to take down real monsters. I'm kind of impressed. I'm glad to hear it. So, do you have an ancient hero's weapon? Straight to the point, eh? I've actually got something like that in my treasure collection. See for yourself. So he beat up his monster, he's just like, wow. Okay, take some of my shit. This is the hero Kutarogi's dual revolver. Well, uh, a part of it at least. Dual revolver? <laughs> Sounds pretty fancy pantsy. This is probably what Isti mentioned. This looks like the grip. Can we have it? We need it to complete the weapon. The bullets from this are stronger than a beast's howl. This gun was used to open the gate in a battle against the goddess. It's definitely a valuable treasure. But someone tough like you girls should have it. Go ahead. <laughs> Bro was so impressed he just gave up his items. <laughs> yeah, you'll be <laughs> you'll have missions to stop a nuclear warhead. Thank you so much. No, 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 All no, of no. our hard work is paying off. Lolly Lou, they know they don't snake. Do you know anything about the other parts for this weapon? Many folks at the former Basilica follow the tales of Kutarogi. Maybe you'll find something in places like that. That sounds like pierogi. <laughs> and I like pierogies. Alright. Uh, how much Mooney do I have? 57,000. That is definitely enough to buy a weapon for Red. Let's get her weapon then. The Shining Toy. We go from 4,000 attack... We basically doubled her attack power. That's pretty damn good. Not like there's there's no new armor, right? I don't think so. We haven't been hurting for new armor, anyways. Anyways, I will try and save up for the PLA. I kind of need that anyway. Oh yeah, I'll just get her this one because she does not need attack power or physical attack, rather. Like she's fine. Anyway, I guess we'll save over that. We're just kind of, we're just kind of going around getting shit done. It's pretty good. That <laughs> pierogies are worth killing for. You'll fight a guy in an office who makes omelets. Yep. <laughs> Making the mother of all omelets. Also, there are probably some dungeons here I could do. Um, like a uh, lower sealed area. I mean, I don't know. I, I need to check out all these dungeons again and see which ones I can do and which ones I can't. We're gonna find out. Oh yeah, by the way, let me switch out. Let me switch out. Um, yeah, let's have, um... Let's switch out Nisa for red, I think. We'll see how... We haven't used red in combat before. I can handle this easily. Banger music. Fire dragon. Oh, this... I, I should have done this dungeon a long time ago. All because of the good wind. This is a really low-level dungeon. Shit. Okay. Not sure why I didn't do this one already, then. Everyone, get ready! The victory is... <laughs> If over easy eggs exist, then what under what what what, what would under hard look like? Um, I don't know. Probably like harder, D harder K. <laughs> so speaking of which, Zach said he wants to do another run tonight. Oh boy, that's all he's wanted to do recently. He hasn't felt like doing anything else. Except rando runs. He that he like that's all his mind is set on. 
<laughs> he can't focus on anything else. Free DK. Bats. We are the bats. I mean, nothing wrong with randos. I'm just kind of getting sick of them, to be honest. I want a little break. But, I don't really feel like saying no. I mean, it's not like I... It's not like I can't get anything done while he's doing his rando. You know, I usually... Well, usually, like... I remember one time when Seb was playing GTA, I was just doing a bunch of, like, modding <laughs> in the background. And occasionally paying attention. So, I could definitely do something like that during his, uh, rando session. And I don't know, maybe just have it open on my phone and just look at it every now and then. Even lazy people can focus on other activities. Yeah, it's called multitasking. <laughs> Anyways, where's the treasure? Is there is there a treasure in here? Let's see what we find. Oh, yeah, there it is. If you choose her, you'll not choose wrong. My turn to do something. Oh, I was expecting it to you know just not show up because I was like a few pixels away from it. Blaze B. I don't know if that's any good. Let's find out. Uh, I mean, looks pretty fucking cool, though. You gotta admit. Honestly, that looks sick. I don't want it just because of how cool it looks. Oh no, the enemies are back. All right, let's call them back. Everyone, get ready! <laughs> did you find? Did you fix the music in Radiant Dawn? Nope, <laughs> I did not fix the music. Cause I don't know how to. I'm not sure what the problem is. Yo, look at this big ass chicken. Did you try? I mean, I looked at it. I looked at it, and the BRSTM loops correctly, but the game just for some reason limits how long it can it can play for. Like after a certain amount of time, it just either breaks or loops back to the start, which is really weird. I don't know why it does that. So there's not really much I can do about that besides just you know getting the original. I mean, we don't have to play with the modded music. <laughs> Did you patch the Brassar? Um... That's not a bad idea, actually. I could try that. I still have your funny little patch that Brassar program. Hmm. I'll give it a try, and if it breaks, then eh, whatever, you know? Actually, hang on. I need to check. Does Radi does, Ra does Radiant Dawn even come with a Brassar? Let me check. It should. I don't see why it wouldn't. I'm gonna double check right now, actually. <laughs> um, games. Radiant Dawn. Data. Files. Sound. Sound US dot Brassar and sound just sound dot Brassar. I don't know if it really matters. I guess I'll patch both of them. Sure, I'll, I'll give that a try. I've never heard, of, I've never seen a sound and sound US <laughs> Brassar before. Successfully patched 633 BRSTM entries. Okay. That might fix it. I don't know. We'll see. Or place them then. There's also a .cms file. Do you know what a .cms file is? 
<laughs> Radiant Dawn music editing. <laughs> yeah, I fucked around with editing the music in um, Radiant Dawn, and it, it's just weird. <laughs> I've never had- I've never heard of a BRSTM that refuses to go over a certain, like, like, timestamp. And just, when it goes over a certain timestamp, it re- it resets. You don't know what a .CMS is? Oh, I thought you'd know. Yeah, in- next to the Brassars, there are .CMS files that are only, like, a couple kilobytes big. I don't know what those are, either. This is the first time I've heard of that file type. But it's in there, with the Radiant Dawn files. <laughs> yes, Ike was supposed to be in Mario Kart Wii. You still want to change the level up music? I'm going to try and look for that. Alright, guys, are you ready to use red? Well, first of all, I need to edit her skills. We're gonna use the funny lesbian. Um, around the world. Mmm, or Amusement Waltz. Let's do, um, Amusement Dance. Alright, let's see how- let's see how her attacks look. Wow, it's actually not bad. <laughs> Damn, her attacks are going hard for no reason. What the hell? Let's keep playing. Don't go easy. <laughs> How's this? <laughs> she really just did the hacha. Oh, stop it. Great. Red of the funny lesbian that looks hot for no reason. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Beside what proof besides the file? I mean, if you if you go to my um, it's the Radiant Dawn stream that comes out that just actually that just dropped right now. The Radiant Dawn stream that just dropped right now, it's in there. There's proof of the music just getting like fucked up for no reason. Anyways, this phoenix is dead. That's my power. <laughs> Alex Kid. Also, I got Alex Kid. <laughs> it's all because of me, but good job, I guess. If you didn't do anything, shut up. We also have um. Mega storage. This is the Gyuki one. I don't really feel like doing that one. Out of control robot. Defeat ATW9 ten times. If he's the if he's the dumbass for once. He, he's like, I did everything. He wasn't even in the dungeon a single time. Alright, so we're gonna have to go fight some robots. I think we've already won. Well, there's one right there. <laughs> I love her enthusiasm. It's so good. Oh no, I maxed out my reflexes. Come out, Evo. <laughs> At least Ify's got the guts. Go play. Yes, and oh, perfect. There's three of them. Three of them to just absolutely demolish. Three more, hell yeah, there's like seven in this entire battle.
Come on, one more wave. One more wave. Yes! Just end this battle right here. <laughs> Just end this dungeon in 49 I'm seconds. MVP. Dude, battles- the, the dungeon was over in 50 seconds. <laughs> That was the quickest dungeon ever. Red is hot, not gonna lie. I mean, that, that's, that's honestly true. He's got a lot going for her. Common Sense. Her blog op got updated. Alright. What do you have to say for yourself, Noah? I never forget to polish my sword every day. It's important. Thanks, Noah. <laughs> Well, anyways, um, how much Mooney do we have? We don't have enough to buy 5 PB a guitar yet, but we'll get to it. And when we do, we'll put her on our party, too. Noir and that booba. <laughs> yep. Alright, so we also have, um, we have Operation Bounty. Defeat August is 10. Is this the really high level dungeon? I don't know. We're gonna save and find out. Or as Desmond has it in his bio, talk to me and find out. This is exactly the same as the other dungeon, except this time, it, there's stronger enemies. And the game's kind of chugging. Hey, look, a treasure. <laughs> no sweat. Alright, uh, how strong are these guys? Not very strong, okay. Those are Dragoons, though, not Augustus. Easy. Oh, the heat dropping reflexes, even though I can't buy any more. <laughs> Six more reflexes that I can't carry. Thanks, game. They're just gonna force them on me, huh? Looks like a prototype for Final Fortress. Easy. Is this Augustus? Yes, okay, so I need to kill ten of you. I'm number one! I'm awesome! <laughs> now that I'm hearing again, I still really love her English Let's voice. I don't care what, I don't care what people say. I love just the enthusiasm she has so funny. Let's get him in a single turn. Yeah, I saw the sauce. It's pretty, pretty fantastic. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, here comes two more. <laughs> Oh, oh, here's another one. <laughs> Anything valuable? Hey, I mean, I gotta get some of that dungeon completion up. It'll make me feel better if I do that. Anyways, uh, looks like we're gonna have to walk around a little while to kill some time for while we wait for the encounters to come back. My turn to do something. So let's go treasure hunting. Man, the game's chugging. Jeez. <laughs> Where's this damn treasure at? Let me guess, it's in here. Let's see what we find. Oh, oh, yep, yep, it's over there. My turn to do something. Uh oh, it's in the very corner. Okay. Okay, at least you guys get to hear more of this music. Well, this is like one of the best songs in the game, honestly. Blaze S. Nothing. Have I have I acquired a Blaze S before? Hmm. 
I have not. This one doesn't really seem all that good, though. Actually, I should probably save before I fight this guy. Alright, let's, let's call on the monsters. I'll do my best. Getting close to autumn. <laughs> True, it'll actually be a little colder for once. I think this guy's probably gonna go down in like two or three turns. It's still my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your do your funny attacks. Your very funny attacks. Hey, mister. Bro can't even do any damage to me. This guy is basically dead. A perfect combo. Punch him. <laughs> Alright, Neptune can have the honors of killing him. There we go. That's not gonna be much experience though. Ooh, I think I'm pretty amazing. Yeah, 52,000. It's not very much at all. <laughs> it wouldn't be cold immediately, but at least it won't be like, you know, 20 to 30 degrees every day, you know? So that's one good thing. Man, is, what the fuck's happening with my, uh... Why is my game chugging? You know, I might need to... I might need to minimize everything again. Maybe. Just maybe. It's just breeze. All right, come back, evil. Everyone, get ready. Why the fuck Brave uses so much, bro? Easy. Let's get him in a single turn. I don't even have it open. <laughs> I don't know why it's acting up. Oh yeah, more more funny turtle guys to kill. I keep calling them turtles. They just look like turtles to me. I don't know why. And also I have turtle PTSD from Terraria, so that's another thing. All because of the good wind. And we're done. Everyone. <laughs> All right, so that brings us up to 57% dungeon, and we got 69% event completion. Nice. Nice. All right, well, invasion. Well, that's another. That's another dungeon. Okay. <laughs> Old Basilicom Aftermath. The Sanctuary had had returned to the city. Everyone finds out the Old Basilicom is now put to use in a surprising way. Hashra Temple, Old Basilicom. Oh yeah, this is where the Sanctuary folks were before. <laughs> Screenshot. I don't see anyone here now though. Huh? Who are you? Hiya. What you doing here? And this is where our Basilicom established an employment agency to help us unemployed. I didn't know Last Station was doing that. Anyway, have you heard of someone named Kuturogi? You mean that hero? People don't make a big deal of him anymore. But without him, Last Station as we know it wouldn't exist. Have you seen any of his belongings? Like, say, a big old gun? Big old gun? Well, hold on. 
I found this while organizing things here before we established the agency. What's this? Oh, 131. What's this got to do with a giant gun? It looks like a big metal loofah. Loofahs are made of metal? <laughs> What would, that, what would that be, like the gun chamber or something? What's wrong with you two? Stop thinking girly thoughts. These holes are chambers you put bullets in, and... Oh, I knew it. You sure? Whatever, I don't buy it. Still, if Iffy says so, I guess we'll take it. Is that okay with you? Sure. It was just going into the trash anyway. Oh, good thing we came here then. We got the cylinder. Check out the material shop in town. They may be able to explain what these parts are for. <laughs> Unemployed? It looks like Joker. He kind of does. Yeah. Oh, screenshot the 69. Oh, oops. A bit late for that now. Fantastic. He's kind of smart, even though he's an unemployed bum. But that's kind of rude. <laughs> that's kind of rude. You're rude, Nep Nep. No, it doesn't say 69 event completion anymore. Oh, Whatever. At least we're done 70% of the game. <laughs> fuck you, Twitch. Hey, fuck you, Luigi. Informative material shop. The party pays a visit to Chevre... Sh Chev... Chev... Chevs? I forgot his name. His shop with the gathered weapon parts to have them identified. Chev Chevre. I don't know. Now I'm compo. Now I can't pronounce names. 132 times. Long time no see. We never really get to come here since you don't carry stuff we like, like weapons or fancy soaps. Listen to you. You haven't changed a bit. What are you three ditches doing here? Xian hasn't ordered anything to be picked up. Drat! I thought we were being cutesy, not three ditzes. <laughs> I don't like either. Anyway, can you identify these metal Based parts? Based iffy. I'm fairly sure they're parts for a gun. Damn it, stop hitting the mic, bro. I think it's a metal loofah. What do you say? Huh. These are pretty rare items. The material is fairly standard, but the way it's built makes it feel like an antique. Ancient, rather. And IF is right. These are parts for a rather abnormal gun. The grip and cylinder, to be precise. Only a giant or some legendary hero would be able to handle the recoil from this. <laughs> yeah. So if he's right for once. What do you mean for what once? Do you mean for once? Why am I iffy? <laughs> Sounds like you're already aware these belong to the hero Kutarogi's dual revolver. You know about it too? Ha! <laughs> Big brain. Take a look at these two parts. These aren't junk. These here are a giant trigger and hammer. Oh, we got the hammer. The ring hammer. And the trigger. These the trigger. The, gun as well? the feeding ramp. I kept them just in case. Their size perfectly fits the scale of the other parts you brought in. have the most important part we need the barrels uh, dm 1911 let me tell you something special i'm kind of a history buff kutarogi is said to have been a hero interested in advanced technology i think he had a good eye without him they wouldn't have stood a chance against the goddess back then. I heard he lost his leg in the battle. Oh, so rip. he spent his remaining years in a quiet, peaceful place. Rip his leg. He kept the gun with him until he died. In one of Last Station's frontier towns. It's something I heard from my historian friend. I wish I could see for myself, but it'd be great if you girls could go. A frontier town on Last Station. Nap nap. This is important information! Yes, importante! Mm -hmm. Sucks I was wrong about the metal loofah, though. Shout out well, with the metal loofah. Let's head out. Alright, well, where to next? I guess we should save. Still done 70% event completion, though. <laughs> Oh, 
Um, Dear Neptune. Oh, Ganache. Ganache has a level 55 quest. <laughs> Sign the waiver beforehand in case something bad happens. Oh, he's, um... He, he's friendly with us now. That's nice. Hero's Casket. Another cave is said to hold the last part of the dual revolver. One warrior stands guard over the weapon and greets everyone upon their arrival. See, now this feels more familiar among the, like, uh, you know, kind of linear side of, like, what Rebirth 1 did. It, the game suddenly feels a lot more linear now instead of, like, very open like it did in Rebirth 1. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Can I do the high five radio? Nah. I'm not really in the mood for it, honestly. Mutarogi's cave. I'm gonna keep, you know, I'm gonna start calling him Pierogi. We gotta go to Pierogi's cave, bro. We're here, but you really think the weapon's in a dusty old place like this? Do 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 do. Taking a dump. It must be. Let's just go look inside the cave. I, t I think I'll take a little, like a one or two minute break after this cutscene. Jeez, can't anyone hide stuff in places a little easier to spot? Man, that'd be too easy. You know, honestly, I feel like Nintendo kind of has a point. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, you know, they always say, like, hey, you, you should take a break. And you know what? For once, I actually kind of agree with that. I may not have agreed with that when I was a kid, but, you know, I kind of feel like the more I play games, Yay! the more I realize, like, you know what? I think a five minute break every now and then, like every few hours, it's not a bad idea. Especially if I play a game like this, where, you know, I haven't. It's a, it's a, if it's a game I haven't played before, Everyone, let's do this. I think, like, a couple minute break every hour is, like, not a bad, th not bad way to go about it. Peach Swallowtail and God Dragon. What the hell are these enemies? <laughs> these are some weird ass enemies. All right, here comes here comes the funny lesbian again. He's gonna oh. kick, she's gonna kick your butt, and I can't kill the dragon in one turn. Piss. Oh shit! This uh this swallowtail is gonna get two turns. Well, better hope we can tank it. Oof. That's not good. No, what are you doing to my what are you doing to my funny lesbian? My funny lesbian's almost dead, dude. You know, I haven't even looked at her item skills yet. Um Interesting. She heals She heals if she is below 80% HP. She has Conrogon. It, that's the only typical. 40% or less? She heals 40% of her HP. That's not bad. Wow, she has like... She has heals for damn near any situation. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Although it's kind of a... Kind of... It's a lot, honestly. Um, Kier's poison restores everybody's HP, so she has her poison and paralysis ones, too. I think we're gonna leave this dungeon afterwards so we can get Red healed back up. Did you see me? I was awesome! Red took quite the beating in that battle, honestly. Alright, I'm going back out. <laughs> I need to. I need, I need to get healed up. Cause that was just some unfortunate luck there, and I haven't messed around with her heals yet. So yeah, probably for the best if we just reload it. All right, let's save as well. Got the. Good ass dungeon music. So 
this. None of this music ever gets old, I swear. Okay, let's get this. Okay, I can deal with these guys. These guys are no. These guys are easy. They only attacked once. Am I like super strong? I, th I wanna be stronger. I think uh I think Zeppi's last match is just gonna be fuck you, Twitch. <laughs> That's a great last message to leave on, honestly. I don't want all this stuff. All right, let's call the monsters. We're gonna we're gonna clear in these guys. Okay, I can deal with just a dragon. The dragon is fine. Cause I can eat. I can. I can technically kill a dragon fairly easily. I think. Oh no! They, I keep forgetting the dragon lives with like one health. Boom. Here comes another dragon. Alright, always make sure to defend at the end of your turn. Oh yeah, I love how she pulls out a giant ass book <laughs> when she's about to attack. I find that pretty funny. Okay, so I have a theory, right? I don't know how true this theory is, but I believe to get CPU Neptune as a move, you need to, um, you need to raise, um, her, like, the shares of her content, of her continent, and if her shares are too low, she's actually, she won't actually ever be able to use it. Which I think is the reason why, um, that happens. Yeah, let's switch that to Dual Edge. I don't think anything costs more than that. So let's try this out. How much does, how much does, um, Charge Shuttle 2 do? My palms are sweaty. I don't know how much that did. <laughs> Maybe it did more damage? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh. Roar. <laughs> Only did a little bit of damage. Love always called the god dragon, but he's like really piss easy. Alright, here comes the fourth god dragon. Did 4,000. It's not bad, honestly. Yeah, he still lived. Thank God for the for the net bowls. I win the MVP award. It's not a bad experience. I mean, I have a grinding spot though. Now, if I want to get levels, I know where to go for it. Oh, you know what I did? Didn't I forgot to do treasure Let's church? What we find. Mm, it's probably in there. If I had to guess. Oh, this is a big ass dungeon. Look how large this shit is. My turn to do something. Yeah, I had a feeling it was down there. All right, let's go down there then. I think it's like right here. My turn to do something. There we go. Is Gus's treasure search better than Ithy's? This one's rare. 
It seems to be a little better, because you don't have to stand, like, exactly next to the chest to unlock it. Or to, like, summon it, you know what I mean? Oh, more tough mills. Those are always nice to see. It really, feel, it really feels complete, you know, knowing that I have every DLC character now. Because this game is honestly really boring if it's just, you know, Iffy and Kampa. When I gotta make the Fire Emblem game, I don't know. I've been late. I, I'm too lazy, honestly. <laughs> Let's fight fair and square. It's not easy making a game, you know. No running away. No, no, no. Trust me, I would know. Considering it, I had a game that was in development hell for like four years. It's not easy. Especially since I'm doing everything by myself. <laughs> Oh, I'm so close to killing him. I mean, especially if I want to make this this FE hack like really good too. Yeah, do the hacha. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna edit Neptune. Not Neptune. I'm gonna edit Red Skills, because she needs some better skills. We're gonna change, um... We're gonna change Amusement Waltz to Around the World. There we go. Which may be able to kill for Lucky. Go, Goombario. <laughs> okay, well now we're definitely not killing. Oh boy. Ow. This is my chance! Yeah, the heal. It's like a slightly better, um, 30% heal. I kind of prefer that, to be honest. Healing 40% HP when you're below 40% health. <laughs> Can't be perfect the first time around. Yeah, I've made... I've made, like, three ROM hacks, two fan games. I've definitely made a lot of shit. I feel like I've definitely gotten a lot better at it. But Fire Emblem hacking, that's a new one. That's something I have never dealt with before. <laughs> Am I like super strong? Enemies are fleeing. Kinda reminds me of girls are preparing. Yeah, I need a lot of characters. And I think probably one of the most annoying things I've dealt with so far is sprites like making um good looking sprites that don't have like glitched out faces and stuff who has come to defile kutarogi's cave me 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 oh damn we got a baddie not the defiling part we're helping you by defeating monsters well i'll tell you i'll tell you i've had like what like two or three characters so far i added mega man and i added ike and that's it <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So, and then I kind of just stopped because, like, yeah, silhouette baddie. I kind of stopped because, like, I it's really hard to line up the graphics. Like, they have to line up just right. Otherwise, um, it doesn't load properly. Wait, you said Kutarogi's cave? Does that mean the gun barrels are here, too? I knew it. More thieves seeking the gun. Be gone, you greedy harlots. Otherwise, you shall regret coming here. Hold up, listen to us first. Oh, 132. We're not going to make money from it, not a single credit. You sound more suspicious when you say it like that. <laughs> but she's telling the truth. We just want to go to Celestia and stop R4. 
She's not gonna know what that is, bro. R4. Who's that? She's a former goddess who's making these monsters. We gotta get to Celestia to stop her. The former goddess in Celestia is burning illegal copies of discs and distributing them around the world. Well, we don't know if she burns them to create them. Huh, sounds kind of like a metaphor for something. You'll get burned. I see. Celestia is facing another world-ending crisis. Okay, never mind. He does understand. Yes. We must go there and stop R4. We're not going to put it to bad use. We'll bring it back when we're done, too. So please, let me borrow it. In that case, today ends my watch over this gun. I leave it in your care. I never thought I'd be the one to hand it over to the new heroes. Try opening the chest in front of you. This box? Okay, I've had lots of practice. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> Real convincing there, Neptune. We got the barrel! This is it? It's huge! Do a barrel roll. So she says. Kutarogi's attendant inherited it. That attendant is my ancestor. Whoa, some sick lore. A key to open the forbidden path to Celestia. We've guarded this barrel for so many generations. And you're giving it up just like that? I can't believe these two convinced you. Sir Kutarogi already predicted there would be another goddess plotting misdeeds someday. Well, he predicted right. His command was to give up the gun once the time came. And 133 okay. times. I'm counting on you two to put the gun together, Kampa and Iffy. Bye-bye. Where, where the fuck you're going, Nip? Kampa, you've got my permission to roundhouse kick her in the face later. <laughs> okay, that's going in my screenshots. That's pretty funny. I'm not really into violence, but I think she'd do well to suffer a firm flick on the back of her ear. That could be a good reaction image. <laughs> Got Hero Kudorogi's dual barrel revolver. And you cannot equip this weapon. Okay. Um, we got two weapons now. We got dual revolver. Yeah. Pretty sick shit right there. Holy shit. And Zeppi sent a wholesome bird this time. That's a wholesome that's a wholesome bird. Alright, well. I kind of want to keep going a little bit, so I think we can afford to, um... Uh... I think we can afford to... Maybe start a little bit of the lean box stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna buy some items. We're gonna get started on our road to 900... Um... 999 of every item. I mean, we already got like 400, so we're making pretty good progress, right? By the way, it turns out that if you want to get the true ending in this game, you have to raise all of those shares to 70%. Honestly, I don't know if that's worth it, <laughs> but it's also kind of tempting at the same time. That's the thing I hate about these old-ass Neptunia games. You have to do a fuck ton of busy work to get the true ending. But, I kind of want to do it at the same time. I don't know. Do any of these, um... Okay, so for example, some of these dungeons... They actually raise Last Station's shares. And the, the, the thing is, there's a lot of... There's a lot of dungeons that raise the other category which is why other is so damn high compared to all the other ones but let me put it this way if i want to get planet tune shares all the way up i have to go back to planet tune do some dungeons and then um yeah boo i gotta, gotta do a bunch of dungeons and get the shares up that way it's really slow it's really tedious and not that fun but, you do get a lot of money experience for doing it, which would help me get absolutely prepared for the final dungeon. So, there is that. 
Planet PR Islands, and Arch Nemesis appears. R4, their Nemesis appears again. Will they settle things once and for all? Like, we gotta fight R4 now? The fuck? Oh, I don't think we can start the lean box shit yet. Like, because there's nothing going on there. Alright, Pippin Park, Arch Nemesis appears. Alright, um... Honestly, I like this team. I'm gonna keep it for now. But, in the next dungeon, we'll try out 5 PB. I think this might be the last thing I do, then, this, this R4 fight. So, let's do that. Pippin Park. Why are we in a cave? I thought this was a park. You're looking for the legendary weapons now, eh? Istoir must be planting these ideas in your heads. Whoa, it's R Fork. What are you doing here? <laughs> R Fork. Are you a spelunking enthusiast? I don't see any of my screenshots. Who are you calling R Fork? What am I doing here? I'm interfering, of course. Plus, who are spelunking enthusiasts? Don't they blast ghosts with oxygen tanks and stuff? It's probably a reference I don't get. Doesn't it get tiring? Let's just go relax and take it easy for a bit. Yeah. Nap, nap. This is no time to be friendly. We have to do what we promised, Jisty. Nah, be friendly. You think I don't know you're desperately trying to find the quartet arms? As expected of an ex-goddess. Can't you wait just a teensy bit longer? Don't you have time for some tea? Shut it! <laughs> I will let you advance no further. Oh, that's funny. I know you're trying to open the path to Celestia. <laughs> yeah, it's R4. Exactly. Then you want to settle this here? Although that wouldn't be very cool or dramatic for the end of a game. <laughs> well, it'd be easier for us if we could just settle things now. We wouldn't have to keep doing this weapon fetch quest. <laughs> just because you were able to defeat my alter egos, don't think you're invincible. <laughs> the right trigger lady. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll call her that. That'll probably oh, piss her so off. You're the for reals one? Are you stronger than your other yous? I'm going to shut that blubbering, blabbering mouth of yours. Brace yourself! Alright, well, we get banger music again. We can run away every now and then, right? Oh, bat awesome background, too. I love this set piece. Alright. Well, let's, um... Oh, shit, you know what? I gotta transform first. Then I'll be ready. I don't wanna, but I guess I gotta. Sit up! Sit up! Sit up! Sit up. Sit up. There we go. Boom. Alright. This one will. Alright, I think I'm ready. I so I have an idea, hear me out, right? We're gonna edit red skills. We're gonna use we're gonna use amusement waltz to switch, and then we're we're also gonna do the same for um, gust as well. We're gonna we're gonna try out some switching, some switchy switches, you know. So I kind of want to see how that goes. All right, which one switches? Deluxe combo. So let's do that. We're gonna try this out. I want to see how this goes. Actually, I don't think I can switch. I don't think I have enough for it. Oh, shit. Well, so much for that plan. <laughs> Gus campaign. I know Gus can do this a few times. Alright, let's do- Oh, we have just enough for the deluxe combo. Okay, I'm gonna switch off. Whoop. Bye. 
and then we're gonna switch out Kampa. Because Kampa and, um, Kampa and Gus are basically the same, so, yeah. So we can get a, like, a, you can just get a crap ton of damage off in one turn. More and more. Please work. <sighs> nice. I love that Kampa still has her super overpowered syringe. <laughs> oh boy. She is definitely stronger. Jesus. Thank God she still has emergency care. Okay, now let me look. Yes, Gust does get her AP back. That's good. So that would that that technically means that this is like the ideal way to play the game. I think. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Which one switches? Yes, yes, yes. Sweet syringe. Super pressure. Yeah, let's try that. XX triangle X. And I'm gonna do the same. Uh, well, I have to switch first with red, <laughs> so yeah. Maybe I can make her like a really cheap one, you know? You know, like triangle, tri triangle, circle, 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 you know? Try that. I want to see how cheap this is. Full break. Yes, I can do that. Don't go easy. And I can switch her off. Let me stand back for a bit. And we can call I'll Misa in. Oh, yeah, this is really cool. Okay. I like this. I like playing it like this. Never ends. I need to set something up for Nisa then, too. Entering max power mode. This is a really good way to play the game. Alright, so... Spam this. <laughs> Now's my chance to attack more. All right, I'm gonna end my combo. Do X X triangle. Oh, and then I I fucked up. Compa's not doing too good. No, Compa. Why does Compa die every time? <laughs> oh, god damn it. Some things just don't change, I guess. Alright, can we solo this with uh, Neptune and, Gu and Nisa? Let's find out. Alright, I want to look at her combos, because I probably have something. <laughs> Patrick. What does Patrick even do? Does he... Does he... He doesn't do anything. Mmm. This one switches. I don't think I have enough for it, though. Nope. I think we can- I think we can win this, still. And plus, I think Kampa's doing okay on experience anyways. Yes, Kampa is dead again. We're doing fine, though. Alright, now I can do this. I don't think I've seen this move yet. Hearts everywhere. This is the strike of justice. Read completion.
That wasn't that bad, honestly. Did quite a bit of damage. Huh? Already? I can keep going. My turn. And Red's back, the funny lesbian. She's back yet again. <laughs> Let's keep playing. Gonna get ya. <laughs> Great. All right. Ooh. Oh, stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> we need a combo death combo. I guess you could say it's a compilation. <laughs> Oh, okay. Don't mind me, just gonna casually kill R4. Whoop. And she's basically dead. Alright, let's have let's have Red um do the honors. Shoot shoot shit at her. Dink. Gonna get ya. That's it. Shoot! Gonna get ya! Gonna get ya! <laughs> I can still I can still Nope, you're dead. We got Power no. Bangle. The <laughs> Rip combo. She didn't get any experience again. <laughs> but I, like I said, that's okay. Because if we need experience on her, we know where to grind. Oh, you suck, Arfie. Uh, you. It won't turn out the same next time. You better not forget this. Papa needs to be in the back. Well, I was trying to put her in the back. I was trying to switch, but then I fucked up. I got greedy. Yay! 133 times. I don't know if I'll remember this though. I'm pretty forgetful lately. Haha, ha, you're don't forgetful. You worry. I'll make sure to remember it thoroughly on your behalf. Are memories transferable like that? Whatever. Let's keep <laughs> looking for those weapons. Let's keep looking. Alright, so now what? Um, world info. Okay, okay, We so we can go to Leanbox and Louie now. That's good. Here's what I'll do then. I'm gonna do teleportation over to Leanbox, and we will start in Leanbox in the next episode. Yeah, road to Leanbox. Do 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 We're just gonna walk on over there. So we got to use red in this episode. So what I think we'll do in the next episode, starting in the lean box dungeons, we're gonna start using 5 PB in the dungeons. The victory is ours. So I think that's a great idea. And I mean I gotta keep Neptune out, because she's just so OP. <laughs> I couldn't have it any other way, honestly. <laughs> what the fuck was that line? <laughs> I was not expecting her to say that. I want to see the hot lesbian. <laughs> yeah, well, don't worry. You'll see the hot lesbian, and you'll also see the cute idol Hatsune Miku uh, clone. So you'll you'll see that in the next episode when I do that. Um, hmm, actually, I don't know. I actually don't know if I'll get to play this game tomorrow, but I'll see. Because Jose wants to do Radiant Dawn in the morning. Yeah, so we'll do these next time. And before I go, um, is there nothing else for me to buy? I think that's it, actually. At least we've bought all the weapons. Well, we could get the- we could save up for the Prinny, uh, Prinny Gun Mark II, and this thing for- for Gust. We could try and save up for these. 91,000 bucks, though, that's a lot. Like, why is her shit so expensive? No new weapons for Iffy, and no new weapons for Compa. Oh, hey, look, hey, look, it's the weapon that I have. <laughs> the used liquid. A.K.A. the best weapon for compass still, by far. Okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna just 
invest in um, the toxins. The toxins, gelatins, and toughnels. There we go. Now we have 400 of everything. Grind Moony and Levels. I will probably do that after I end this stream. So, anyways guys, thanks for watching Neptunia for today. I had a lot of fun here. We've made uh, pretty good progress. We, we, we got the sword in Planeptune, we got the gun in Last Station, and now we're gonna work on getting the other two weapons in Leanbox and Louis next episode. So that's gonna be what we do then. And then probably the episode after that, um, we might go to Celestia, I don't, I don't know. Like, we're getting, we might be at like the end, the very end of the game for all we know. I don't know though, that, that 71% event completion is telling me otherwise though. But, we'll see. And I'm not gonna look it up, because I kinda wanna, I wanna be surprised. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys then, I'm gonna get back to my grinding. Because the grinding is actually pretty fun in this game. So, yeah. I'll see you guys then. I'll probably do some dungeons off screen as well. Get that dungeon completion up a bit. And, uh, Iffy sent me some Iffy sauce. So, yeah, I prove that. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Um, Seb's gonna do a GTA stream most likely in like an hour or something. I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know when he wants to do it. But I'll see you guys then.